Suit up, agents. It's time to see what you're capable of. Yo, what up guys, Soak Disco here, and today I'm gonna bring you this video and we're gonna go in depth into a couple of things. First of all, will be how to unlock the Sam Fisher outfit, the Splinter Cell outfit, in the upcoming uh, season one for year five. And second is gonna be me basically telling you how this whole thing is, it's pretty much a scam, you know what I mean? So, I uh, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but let's get right into this thing. And um, mind you, I'm doing a convoy here and that's gonna come into play so I'm going to touch on some things I told you guys in some other videos. So before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, yeah, slap the like button on the ass. All that good stuff. And let's let's go get it. So a big tease for year five, season one, is the Sam Fisher outfit. For those of you who don't know, Sam Fisher is the iconic character from Splinter Cell. One of the dopest games that came out. A real true Tom Clancy title. Uh, at least in, until some of like the later iterations. But for the uh, the Division 2 day, we got a pretty big update. How you unlock this thing, it requires a couple of steps. However, those steps are 100% financial. All right, uh, it's all about the money, Lebowski. I'll let the dude tell you in his own words, and you let me know if you can catch the little nuance that gets slipped in there, and how anybody who's not paying for this is gonna be completely left out of the game as far as this new outfit goes. It's not gonna be an apparel event. It's gonna be gated behind money, meaning that if you do not pay, you won't get a single piece of this uh, apparel that has to do with Sam Fisher. And um, they're gonna tie in what they did with the Ninja Bike backpack. I'll speak on that in a second, but let's listen to this guy tell it to you in his exact words and pay attention. Here. Fifth, and then once the season starts, set your sights on another gaming icon's signature style, Sam Fisher. As part of the premium pass for season one, Broken Wings, you'll be able to unlock pieces of the Splinter Cell apparel to help you fifth freedom your way all throughout DC and NYC. So when does this all kick off? Season one, Broken Wings takes flight in early June or doesn't fly. All right guys, now comes broken. the scam that I warned you about in that other video. So you're gonna be able to unlock pieces of this thing, the Sam Fisher outfit, which sounds great until you realize what's going on. And by the way, the Convoy XP has not been changed. They didn't magically just decide to fix a bug right before an apparel event, and it's not going back, not in least until this apparel event is done. We'll see how that shakes out. You're still getting the exact amount of XP you should have got starting three years ago but you have an apparel event right now. And the apparel event itself is one that we've already had. So this is only for new players. This is to ensure no new player can do the XP farm and level up fast and get these apparel events that they will in fact charge you for later. So let's get to the meat of the issue here. Here's what happens. The premium pass is the one that they charge you for, okay? So it's like a, a thousand credits in game, which is like whatever, 10, 11, 12 bucks. Once you buy that, that's going to give you access to some of the Sam Fisher items on the season reward track. Okay, so you guys remember the season reward track, right? It's like 100 levels, and they'll put the good stuff at the end. Now, do you remember what they introduced with the Ninja Bike backpack? They gave people the opportunity to skip ahead by buying these levels at basically 10 levels for $10. And you can bet your ass that something like the uh, the, the tri-vision goggles, whatever, those night vision goggles with the three green things is gonna be right at the end. And they're gonna offer that season pass fast track. Basically, it's gonna mean that you're gonna have to, first of all, you'll have to buy the season track for the 10 bucks or 11 or 12 or whatever it is. Then, if you wanna skip ahead, they're going to charge people 10 bucks per 10 levels to skip ahead so you could end up having a, a bunch of people dressed like Sam Fisher at the White House on day one of this thing. That's how you're going to know who's who's spending. I told you, don't spend money on those things. It's not going to end well. That's the problem with this game in its current state. I'm really happy for the DLC that we got coming. That's the only thing I'm looking forward to. I'm not going to be... a uh, all hyped about this Descent game mode. From what I heard, it's pretty cut and paste. 
it's a uh, it's a game mode i like content the only thing i'm looking forward to is the content the dlc that i'll 100 percent pay for something like that but that's coming like pretty late on the year five roadmap right that's like the last one so all these apparel events if they have more and obviously they said there's there's more apparel events coming these things are going uh the the xp farm i'm pretty positive the xp farm where they said yeah we're gonna change it back eh, we'll see because when that xp farm is active and you can get basically double xp for farming convoys anytime there's a uh, any type of apparel event active people are getting things too fast and if you get them too fast before the uh the two week the two week uh limit on those things they're selling them back to you so we already got the resident evil apparel event again which we already had except for new players and as i said if you're a new player coming in they strategically took out the xp doubling effect that you had on resource convoys to ensure that you're playing the game for the most part you better be putting in work because you're not going to skip ahead because if you get it now especially if you're a new player they can't sell it back to you when the event ends it's all about the money lebowski that's what i try to tell people i'll, I'll give the game praise when it does good but i'm going to call it out on the bs and this whole cash grab that they're doing right now is capitalizing off uh, uh, nostalgia from Sam Fisher, from Splinter Cell, from a Tom Clancy title that was actually worth something. It was a good game. Now, some people might say, oh, you're being all doom and gloom. I'm just going to give you the facts. This isn't something that you can just unlock by playing the Sam Fisher thing. You unlock this with money. Ubisoft wants your money. So... Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Um, there's no change to the Convoy XP loot. When Season 1 drops for Year 5, which is uh, early June, the only people that are going to be looking like Sam Fisher are people that paid for the Season Pass. And the first people to look like Sam Fisher are going to be the ones that shell out about $70 or $80. It's a cash grab. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm happy we're getting new content with a DLC. But aside from that... Nothing has changed. Don't be fooled by the okie doke. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a fantastic one. Enjoy the game in any way you can. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.